Okay, granted, I've been excited for pears added to the collection in 2022, but there's just something insanely special about the brand new Air Max One in collaboration with Concepts for Mellow, Heavy, and Far Out. The pair we'll review today, Mellow. Not your standard Air Max box. So you will have a black base and a matte finish, super colorful detailing all around. On the top, the patterns you see are reminiscent of actual patterns present in all three pairs. We have a flower power swoosh on the end of the box as well as on the top of the box in the traditional swoosh design. The paper incorporates the concept as well. So you have, no pun intended, a red base for the paper with floral swooshes as well. Let's start with the crushed velvet tongue. To me, it's the most eye capturing element of the sneaker itself. So you have this burgundy slash maroon crushed velvet tongue. On the tag, you have the older Nike sportswear logo with concepts underneath. Now in the shoe, you'll find the same colorway for the laces, but you also have two additional laces included with the sneaker itself. So one lace will be white, the other the same crushed velvet as the tongue. And let me tell you, for me, that's the best option. Woodstock itself was actually held on a dairy farm, so that's why you'll have bovine fur to represent the cows that were literally present on the farm itself. Not in the mix of everything, but they were still hanging around. This adds a whole new element of texture to the sneaker itself. It's so soft to the touch, something I didn't even expect to see, but I love it. The acid wash denim base, so the toe box itself and the quarter panels on both sides of the sneaker will feature an acid wash. Now, what's so unique about the acid wash, no one's two pairs are the same. Matter of fact, your left and right shoe are not even the same as seen here. Stitched on the tongue, symbols to represent love and peace. And again, that acid wash just really brings the shoe out. I love that you can pair this with denim and it just pops. M65 military jackets were the style they were in. They were available in surplus and this sneaker incorporates that reality around the entire mudguard. And you know me, a sucker for anything olive green. So that's why this pair stands out so much. Now this pair features a navy paisley bandana print along the back heel and then excess strings hanging off the Nike Air. Be mindful of where you wear these though, depending on where you live. On the lateral side of each shoe, you will see a tricolor swoosh, but if you flip it over to the medial side, you'll actually see a flower power swoosh. Moving up near the collar of the shoe, you'll see concepts in this textile design going all around the upper itself. The eye stays are detailed as well with a corduroy backdrop, but then the sail comes into play as well as this custom guitar pick with concepts on one side and Nike on the other. The inner liner is ribbed with the same colorway as the tongue and if we flip it to the outer sole you have the traditional Air Max 1 outer sole nothing has been updated here which also means the cushioning is exactly the same. I love they left no stone unturned you have abstract art insoles very colorful and then you also have a note on one of the insoles the shoe includes adult bovine fur. Concepts thought of every element of the shoe from start to finish and if we look at the midsole it has the splatter paint design but it actually is only featured on more of the bottom part not necessarily the top part of the midsole along the sides. And yes I swapped in the crushed velvet laces to me this is the only way to go that's just a personal preference but it brings this entire pair together and again I'm blown away by everything concepts did on the mellow pair but as well as the heavy and far out also be a little biased and mellow being my favorite i mean the fact that you incorporate olive i get to rock an m65 military jacket yes all for this 
Let's keep in mind, sneakers will always fit different to every single individual. For the Air Max 1 Concepts, I went true to size, which is a size 6. They fit very comfortable to me. Now, in the past, some size 6s have felt a little tighter on foot, I'll be honest, but this felt just right, and some have stated it feels a little roomier than other Air Max 1s they have in their collection. Uh, again, I went true to size. The comfort is the same as any Air Max 1. One. so if you're trying to compare this to let's say react or even boost no it won't be up there probably a seven and a half eight out of ten when it comes to comfort in comparison to other models in your collection I think this pair, even featuring the denim, I think it looks great with denim. I think they also look amazing with a more toned down pair like khakis here or any number of pants. Just play around with it. Have fun. I that's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still What's going on everybody it's your girl tj back another video on talks with tj here to celebrate air max day which was technically yesterday and hopefully you celebrate it in an amazing way with a great pair uh also be sure to comment even on this video what's your favorite air max of all time doesn't matter the the style the collaboration colorway i don't care i'm curious to know and i'm so excited to own the mellow pair from the pack of concepts and their collaboration with nike now i I personally think they stole the scene for Air Max Day 2022. That's not to say Nike didn't put out its own pairs, and I know there are stories and there's inspiration behind those releases as well. 1000% respect them. But just, just personally, my opinion, I don't think they're touching what Concepts put out uh, with Dion Point literally leading uh, at the point for these pairs. So again, I, I'm so I'm thinking back. I may have had a different ranking before, but for right now, it's uh. uh it's, it's really hard. I may edge out Mellow just because of the fact that, again, it does have that entire olive green or military green, I should say, going around uh, the outer part of the shoe for the upper, which really speaks to me. You guys know I own like nine to 12 pairs of olive pants. So Mellow might edge it out just a little bit more. Now, there's talk of which pair could really stand the test of time. Let's talk about that. So first, the thought is this pack as a whole could actually go up in value on the secondary market once people truly begin to appreciate what they bring to the sneaker landscape, whether it's for Air Maxes, Concepts, doesn't matter. And also Concepts, they're no strangers to putting out amazing pairs we all covet and really, really want. I mean, let's just go over a few of them. Let, let's just see a few. Clearly, as you can see, Concepts did it again. Now, I agree these could go up in price in the future. I hope they don't. As of right now, if you took an L on any of the drops, you can certainly go back for a relatively decent resale price and pick them up. I will say this, though. Over time, I think think in terms of everyday wear the mellow will be very appreciated because you can truly still throw it on with a lot and i think that's just based on the colorways or the colorway itself for mellow when you look at some of the others like even far out it really is the far out colorway uh that's not to say heavy doesn't have its own like mix of colors in there camo being very prominent on the shoe and if you're somebody that rocks camo a lot then that's absolutely perfect for you but the these could go up in the future. I'm going to hope they don't because I would love to reach back and get them. Now, I, I used a lot of uh, self-restraint this morning to not even go for far out just because of so many other things I've already taken care of this month. I said, hey, let me fall back and just appreciate having Mellow. I'll go back for the other pairs a different day. Uh, now, in terms of styling these, this will look a little bit different, but uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And trust me, again, being able to incorporate an M65 style jacket, love it. 
again something a little different to debut the looks for the Air Max One Concepts Mellow. So let's start on the left. I'm actually wearing one of the brand new Fear of God Essential Sport Tanks in the seafoam colorway. Super distressed denim from American Eagle. Yep, they're actually mom jeans. And then you guys will see the brand new coach's jacket in the iron colorway. I picked this up in an extra small. In the middle, it's really relaxed. It's laid back. I have on a Richie Lee Collection Everyday Tee. I have on some tapered khaki pants, as well as a super distressed maroon sweater to really go along with those times. And finally, the M65 jacket look. So that jacket is from H&M. I'm wearing the heavyweight Kobe Bryant shirt from his Marion days. And then just a pair of olive green pants to bring it all together. There is something interesting about the inspiration or at least the story being told from concept side versus what we are really gathering from the shoe itself and shout out to Mike Sykes for pointing this out as well that if you look at the shoe it really does place us back into the 60s the 70s the entire festival um, vibe and era Woodstock now personally if you're asking me I also think of the Frank Lucas era maybe it's because I enjoy the movie so much blame it on Denzel Washington being an amazing generational actor but I think about the Frank Lucas era because the Vietnam War definitely played a part in how they were able to do what they did for their uh, business <laughs> and you as we know people were also protesting the Vietnam War during that time especially a lot of students and young adults and then you had Woodstock so when you're able to see the 60s and 70s woven 1000% into the shoe itself for all three pairs that's what i think like you're giving me a real history lesson you're really putting me in that time period but then if you look at what concepts is saying they wanted to celebrate the history of nike itself right from its birth of blue ribbon sports all the way through to what it is now and mike sykes pointed out like well is that really is that really prominent or prevalent when you look at the shoe and no, not really. I think maybe if we saw something that took us back to like Blue Ribbon Sports days that would have uh, tied it all together. But then also, I don't think that was necessary at all. Like, yes, we are still respecting the Air Max 1 for what it is, what it did. If you are curious, the Air Max 1 is my favorite silhouette of all time. If we're talking any sneaker, any brand, any model, anything, okay? I just, I just think it's the best, okay? That's just my personal opinion. Uh, go ahead and comment below. What do you think is the best silhouette, period? Any sneaker, it doesn't matter. Brand, colorway, take that all out of it. What is the best design uh, and just in terms of the model itself? So I think that just what they executed with the entire Woodstock, the festival theme, uh, peace, love, they, they did it. They understood the assignment. They over delivered on the assignment and also respect to them for the far out uh, packaging that didn't come with any of the others but there's also some mixed feelings about the packaging in terms of are you going to use all the items that were you know included in it and this is also why i don't think i would want to be like a brand donor uh a boutique owner just because there's no pleasing the people you're just every you just you, there's no pleasing everybody <laughs> so i think uh they went above and beyond as well on the far out pair which i think is amazing nonetheless I still need to go back and just give me the basic box and I'm fine with like basic box for far out, but then also for heavy. So those will be on a reach back wish list for myself. Um, please sound off your thoughts on Air Max Day 2022. Do you think Concept stole the day? Do you think Air, Do you think Nike itself delivered? It is wild that we also discussed this as well on Twitter that Nike doesn't even need to do their, their own promotion for this day. It's a holiday we all know about since 2014. Times were very different back then, but I think us all being able to just come together for this one day to share all of the different Air Max models we love. Um, maybe it like sparks your interest in a colorway or a model you didn't know about or you forgot about. Either way, it's a great day. Happy to celebrate it with my brand new mellow pair. I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.